everybody, Invisible Katana here. I'm doing my Throwback Thursday review for The Evil Dead. Um, this week I'm doing a double feature. I was supposed to do this last week and then we were setting up this stupid pool so I didn't get to film my video last week. I really wanted to. But doing um, a double feature this week, I'm still not 100% sure um, if I'm going to do Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 this week. I might save Evil Dead 2 for the next week and then the week after that I'll probably do Army of Darkness just because I want to do them kind of week by week and not just cram them all together. But Evil Dead is super freaking awesome. Um, I have, I forgot which, I'm sure that it's some edition, you know, it's still case and it's got Bruce on the back, or Ash, or Ashley, which no one actually calls him that. I remember when I first found out his name, Ash was short for Ashley, I was like, I, I never knew that. That like blew my mind when I first heard that. But it's a great freaking film. I got like, you know, the little, this is like the only thing that came with it. And the inside is just blank and it's, you know, the CD right there. But I love this movie. It is the ultimate experience in grueling terror. And in one regard, that's definitely true. Um, with me being me and the age that I am, I'm 24, I was born after this movie came out. And so horror has obviously changed, even as well, especially when this movie came out. Horror really changed with this one just because it was like, it was one of the first movies, and obviously there's a bunch of spoilers I haven't even gotten to the story, but there will be spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it. People go to a cabin in the woods, it has like those classic ideas of, you know, cabin in the woods, this crazy ancient thing, things go really bad, people die, some people live, and, you know, not a lot of people. Um, but that's pretty much it. So after, outside of that, I'm going into full spoilers because there's no other point. It's a throwback review. You sh should have seen the movie by now. If you haven't, it's amazing. But just going into the madness that this film really has in it, it's like the early version of Saw, like where it's like, you know, it's like torture porn as a lot of people call it, or gore porn. It's like that, but I enjoyed it a bit more. Um, it has that actual story to it, but the chaos and the death and the madness is insanely intense. And it only gets crazier, you know, as time goes on in these films, at least for the second one. The third one, you know, it becomes more comedic, so it's not as crazy. But this one is nuts. And then two kind of ups the ante while kind of doing uh, what the movie did. You know, it's like the whole thing about how the second one is almost like the first movie uh, redone a little bit, but obviously it is, like, in order. There's some, like, edit thing that you can watch where it makes more sense where, like, you take the ending of this movie and you, like, blend it with the beginning of the first and it's like, you know, it is one cohesive story. It's just, like, that tiny little bit at the end where, you know, he's kind of shot away from the cabin and it's like, it seems like it kind of cuts and then the second movie starts up and it's like, well, it's kind of a retelling, but they're obviously clear sequels. Like, he goes to the cabin in this movie, and then he's already at the cabin in the second movie, and then more people, you know, come to him. Um, but I, I love this one. Like, I really love this. It starts a crazy, you know, ultimate, like, automatic classic following that, you know, spawns two sequels, and now, oddly enough, at, by this point, it actually has a TV show that's going into um, its third season. I cannot wait for Ash vs. Evil Dead season three. I'm very excited for that. Uh, we also had a pretty awesome remake. I love the remake of Evil Dead as well. I'll probably do that after I do Army of Darkness. So I might do like a, a straight full month of just like um, the Evil Dead movies. But I love all the movies. And this is the one that kind of kicks it off. And it's crazy. You know, it starts off so simple. It's like, oh, you know, they're driving up to the cabin. No big deal. Um, it, you know, kind of like, oh, yeah, here's a cabin. Which, you know, it's kind of like, let's just kind of break in. <laughs> That's pretty much how it was. It was kind of just like, yeah, we sort of you know, just, we're here. Sweet. So then things get crazy. You know, the typical horror thing, something weird happens and they start playing the recording and it just gets crazy after that. And it's just insane prosthetics and just crazy deaths and you have demons taking over people and then they let, you know, they lose control of the people or seemingly lose control. Um, I don't know why I did this with seemingly, but they do seemingly lose control. And I feel like this was the first movie I ever actually saw that happen in. I, I feel like it was. It may not have been, but it's definitely the one that comes to mind the most. Like this and the second movie, I feel they do it a lot better than a lot of other movies do, where it does that continuously, where it's like, hey, and I think that actually keeps up even today, like with the series. That's like a staple of Evil Dead, where it's like the Deadites are coming to end, you know, basically end all of humanity. But they always have that thing where it's like, well, I'll switch back. And it's like, hey, what are you guys doing? Like, why are you doing this to me? And then they'll switch when they get angry again. And it's like, you know, that, that back and forth. I always kind of love that idea. And that, you know, that's not just specific to this, but it's kind of the one that started it. Or it is the one that started it. It's the first one. But it's so good. It's such a fun movie to enjoy. It's like a horror movie. Like, it's such a weird placement in horror where it's like, it's definitely a horror movie. 
but you can enjoy it for in a in a sense you can enjoy it for its action because of some of the things that they do you can enjoy it for a million things as far as like design wise and the technology and you know really the practical effects you can enjoy it for all of that of course but story wise um you can enjoy it as horror you can enjoy it as um you know, not horror, but like going down a thriller when it gets to people not being sure, like, can we trust it? Is Did this random demonic thing lose control of this person? Can we believe it? People fighting against each other as actual just humans. They aren't even controlled. They just start to lose it. Like, you know, what, you know, just kind of the normal horror things that you get. But it's just done in such an entertaining way in this. And things just get crazier and crazier, of course, as it gets to the end of the film. And Ash is like our last man standing. And... He's trying to make it work. Like, he really is. He's trying to do everything he's can he can. And it's just nuts. Like it's just entertaining. Like the whole way through, I just really love what they do with this film. Like the action is good. Um obviously like I said, all the actual manual stuff that actually happens in this, the um I keep forgetting the the practical effects. I keep forgetting practical. But the practical effects are absolutely astonishing for this film and then it just gets even better in the second one where it's like, alright, let's just go crazier and you know, of course I'll I'm kind of talking about like the whole franchise as a whole, just even though it, I'm supposed to just be doing this one thing. But it's really just to, mostly these reviews are just to nerd out on what I like about the whole franchise. And it's like, it's everything's so tight knit with this franchise. It's not like other franchises you watch where it's like, okay, this happened. And then this was like years later and stuff. And technically the films come out years later. And the TV show is like the one thing where it's like, okay, that's a huge time gap between the films and the show. But... The movies themselves, it literally is just like, here's one, here's two, and then shot back in time for three, and that's how it feels watching them. It's like, you watch just this one, and all I think of, and not in a bad way either, all I think of is like, man, this happens here, and then it leads into these epic moments for uh, two, and then Army of Darkness as well, and some stuff, uh, even into like the actual series, which is really cool, and some stuff being switched up a little bit for the remake. So it's like, I think of all of these things just from watching this, and it's like, you know, this is, um, and oddly enough, this was probably one of the few franchises where I did see the sequel first, for whatever reason. Um, and I remember this, because it took me a long time to actually see the first Evil Dead movie. Because Evil Dead 2, um, I would see it on cable a bunch. It was like, you know, Evil Dead 2 was really famous and stuff, and I never truly knew what it was. And one day, I sat down and I watched it, and I was like, I love this, Evil Dead 2 is awesome. And then I was like, okay, that's crazy, especially with the way it ended. That was, you know, my first time seeing it. I was like, I did not see that one coming, and he's, you know, thrown back in time. So, it was like Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness was on TV one day, and I was like, oh, crap, that's, you know, I didn't know Bruce Campbell was, like, the actual actor or anything. I was like, that's the guy from Evil Dead 2. So, I was like, okay, so now I officially know the name of the third movie, but I would always see Evil Dead 2 on cable. I could never find the first movie, so it took forever before I finally saw it. But when I did, it was like, this is awesome. Like, this is the start of that thing. And they're so, you know, once again, being so similar, but seeing, like, those vast differences of Ash being someone surrounded by his friends in the first one. I think that's one of the biggest things I take from the, the two films, where it's like, you know, oh, they're so similar. That's one of my favorite things about it, though, is, like, you do get to see... It's almost like comics in, a, in an odd sense, where it's like, um, they're called, like, you know, what if, one-off sort of comic books, where it's like, well, what if this happened? It's almost like that, except it actually does happen, because we see him with all these people he knows, and his sister, and friends, and girlfriend, and we see the devastation that hits him, and then it's like, well, what if that happens again with people he doesn't even know or trust, and they don't really trust him either during certain segments, and that's one of the things I think about while watching them, like, I love how that plays out, where it's such a similar story, but it's so drastically different, and plus, you know, the biggest thing about the second movie is that you actually bring in... Uh, someone who is truly attached to the house and like it being her dad's house and stuff like that um, or you know cat but really love this first film i know i basically didn't even talk about the actual story but like i said it's really just a gush and talk about like the whole thing i'll probably be a bit more detailed with you know the second one and kind of calm down a little bit because it's just like this is the first time i've ever reviewed evil dead like i never even i don't think i actually even reviewed the remake i talked about it on my channel like years and years ago but i've never reviewed anything evil dead based outside of the series but i've never really reviewed the movie so it's kind of just like i love the movie and i love the sequel and i love the third movie and i just love all the movies and the show as well so it's, i know it's not really a review but i do love what they do with this film and it does kick off something really crazy with this entire franchise going into you know what it is now which i never would have expected after three movies that I, all three of which I love and then a remake which I actually really love as well that we would ever get you know a series and I definitely love the series um 
like I said, I'm excited for it to come back for season three. Hopefully, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's coming back. I haven't actually looked up any news. I just assume it's Evil Dead. I just assume it's, it's got to be coming back. Um, but definitely excited for that. But I really love this movie. And it's, you know, it's the one that kicked it off. And it's the one that I feel gets forgotten because it's one of those things where it's like, oh, the sequel was like insanely bombastic. But the first movie is, you know, really where it started. And that's why the sequel is so good because the first movie is already great. And then they take what's great about it and they kind of redo it. Like I said, it's almost like, you know, comic books where like this happens. But it was like, what if there's like the slightest little difference? And then you have the second movie. And it is better. I, I Personally, I say it's better just because it goes deeper into the Necronomicon and we get like actual explanations for stuff. That's the only reason I would say that I choose the second one over the first one. There's other stuff that I think is really cool from the second one, like, you know, the moments where he really is alone early on and like the person, you know, where everything's laughing. Little stuff like that, I think, is really kicked up in the sequel, even though, of course, it's in the first movie. I feel like they just, like... Is almost like three times as crazy in this sequel so i would say yes you know i understand why everyone talks about two um compared to the first one but it's not like it's totally different it has all the same stuff where it's just madness and just all the way through it's just freaking crazy and it's just like wow how is this going to play out and it's really good like i love everything about it and the way that they do it and there's also a million other things for anyone who's like really into evil dead they have like the um I forgot what the heck the name of the game was, because it was like on like PS2 or something, but there's like an alternate version of the story. that It actually is like a what if comic where at the end of the second movie, um, instead of him being sent back in time, he just stops it. And then the Deadites are in the modern day and he doesn't defeat them like in the past. It's not like the little loop thing. It's like he goes into just modern times and then I think they have a comic book after that and that's where we go for anyone who may not read comics, but that's where we get... um. Marvel Zombies versus Army of Darkness like there's actually Evil Dead comics that transition into the Marvel Zombie stuff and that's how we get those comics I believe but I don't know like the full story there I just recently heard some stuff about that and I was like oh I didn't know that's how that translated into that I thought it was just like meh they just threw them in there because it's <laughs> it's Army of Darkness why not just throw them in with Marvel Zombies I thought it was just cool um but yeah I love the movie of course would love to know what you guys thought about it like I said I know this was really not even much of a review. It's just like, I like this and I like that and how it translates into such an epic franchise. But the second movie, uh, when I do that next week, I'll definitely just sit down and be like, okay, I have to talk specifically about this and this and this. Because in this movie, it was kind of, or at least this review, I should say, not the movie. It's just like, I like what they did here and I like what they did there. I do like the characters and, you know, the way that it all plays out. But it really is like, you know, you think of Evil Dead, you don't think much about his sister or any of the characters that died. I really only think of Ash and the only other person I really think about that much when I think of the first two movies is the woman that is actually related, like the daughter of the woman from the, um, or from the man from the cabin. That's really, those are like the only two characters I truly think about. And that's about it. So, and the scene, of course, with Ash, like, killing his girlfriend again, again, I guess. So it's like, those are really the big things. And I don't, you know, that's mostly to do with Ash having a crazy moment. But those are the two characters I really think of. And everyone else is like, Sure, that's his sister, and she shows up in the TV show again, which is actually very awesome. But for the most part, it's just like, okay, I know what's happening. Especially now, having seen the movie so many times, it's like, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I'm just waiting to see what happens and how it happens all over again. So I don't really think much of the characters that much, and that's, I guess in a sense, that's a detriment. I, it's kind of hard to say because I like the movie so much, I don't know if I'd even count that against the film because I feel like the... You know, it's so tight-knit, it's not like this grand scale sort of thing. You do get to know the characters fairly well, I'd say. It's like, it's a group of friends, you have this couple, you have this couple. And that's pretty much how it is, you know, for the first film. And then it's just like less and less people as time goes on. And, you know, the crazy, you know, deadites and stuff. So, I feel like even with Ash himself, the only reason we focus on him is because he's the main character. But no one really is, is none of the, really, none of the characters is like holy crap, this character is like this type of person and this and that. It's like, no, they're just normal people. And that's probably a part of it where it's like, it can be seen as a detriment, I guess, because you don't really think of any of the characters outside that of Ash because he's the main character. But really, that's kind of just how it is in both films, almost, until, you know, of course, we have the daughter of the man who kind of set this all in motion in the second film. So she has a little bit extra as well. She has kind of more story than Ash when you really think about it in that sense. But... Even with that, I, you know, I don't find it as an issue with the film or anything like that. It's just like, all right, we got these characters. We know how crazy it's about to get. And it does. And it's entertaining every freaking time I watch it. So 
Love the movie. We'll always love the movie. Uh, like I said, um, probably, I, I am definitely going to do Evil Dead 2 next week. I won't do, like, both, you know, back-to-back -back like this. But I would definitely do Evil Dead 2 next week, and then Army of Darkness. I have all three of them on Blu-ray, so, stupid mosquitoes. Um, I fortunately have, actually, all four of the movies I have on Blu-ray. So I got the first one, I have two, I have Army of Darkness, and I have the remake as well on Blu-ray. So I'll be able to just watch them and then just do them um, for, like, a full month. It'll be Army of Darkness. Didn't consider that before, but I actually have all of them on DVD, or, like I said, Blu-ray. So that's how I'm going to do it, but Evil Dead, definitely love it. Can't wait to watch the second movie. I'll probably wait until next week to actually watch it. But really enjoyed this one, of course. We'd we'll love to know everything you guys love or even hate. And, you know, of course, like, it's not a perfect film. Maybe it does bother you way more than it bothers me that the characters don't really have that much personality. It's not like, oh, we truly get to know anybody. It's two couples together in a cabin in the woods. And then people start dying because demons come out and either take them over. Well, that's pretty much it. They take them over. Um... But, you know, that's pretty much it. So I was like, that could bother you more than it bothers me. But I would love to know what you guys think about it. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. Of course, if you guys have um, any movies that you guys think I should do for, like, Throwback Thursdays, definitely let me know. Of course, obviously, with it being Throwback Thursday, there are older films. I There are a ton of old movies that I haven't seen. Even more that, well, I shouldn't say even more, that doesn't make sense. There are a ton that I haven't reviewed, even more that I haven't seen. But I do have kind of, like, a set plan for now, like, doing the Evil Dead stuff. And they don't have to be super old, like I said, I'm doing the Evil Dead remake at some point just because it's kind of with Evil Dead, which are, you know, older films, of course, but I'm going to do more recent stuff. Like, if it's anything, like, you know, if it's five years, that's throwback to me. So, like, it's movies, there's so many movies come out every single year. If you go back five years, I mean, I wouldn't do, like, The Avengers or anything like that. It, most of them will be, like, actual movies from, like, early 90s and 80s and stuff that I've just never reviewed. But, of course, if you guys have any that you think I should review Throwback Thursday films... Um, definitely let me know. There's a lot of old movies that I haven't seen that I definitely want to. The first one that comes to mind, I've never seen Psycho. I've always wanted to, and especially, I've, uh, for those of you who never saw Bates Motel, amazing series based on the Psycho movie. So, it was like, I love that, that entire series I reviewed. It's like, alright, now that I've finished the series, I, I was so behind anyway, I was like, eventually I'll, I'll just watch the movie after I finish the show. So, the show is done, I need to check that, but now that I'm doing like my whole Army of Darkness thing, I'm like, crap, I... Probably should have thought of that ahead of time, so I'll do that at some point as well. But like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. But like I said, definitely want to know what you guys think about the very first uh, Evil Dead film. There is a, another random thing that I should mention with Evil Dead. It is going to be shown, uh, for anyone who may be in like the Detroit area or anything, it will be shown at the Redford Theater, which is actually where the Evil Dead first premiered. And Bruce Campbell will actually be coming back to the city of Detroit. I'm definitely going to that, so you can... I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check that out and get tickets and things like that. But it's going to be like a late night showing. Bruce Campbell will be there. I think it starts at like 10. It's like really a late night sort of thing. So I'm insanely excited to go to that and just see Evil Dead with a bunch of other people around me and be super nerdy. But like I said, want to know what you guys think about Evil Dead. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.